There are many questions we can't answer. That's a struggle. God keeps his secrets from us. That's protection. Did you ever think that? Did you ever think that maybe the cruelest thing that could happen from the God that loves you is to give you the full picture? Why? The, note, the secret things belong to the Lord our God. That word belong there, it shows volition. God made it this way. He wants it this way. Most things we don't know. But when we don't know things like, I don't know, think about things that you don't know. I don't know how to fix a lawnmower. I have no idea. I don't know how to do a lot of things, but most of the things that I don't know how to do, I don't know how to do because I never took the time to learn them. Never tried to understand that. If you know something I don't know, if I don't know something you don't know, that doesn't mean that I'm a smarter knower than you. It probably just means that I've invested my knowing in a different place. But we all readily acknowledge that we know different things and are experts in different matters. But now over here there's a matter about which none of us are experts. It's the stuff that only God knows, and you can't try harder to get it. You can't, man, I'm going to figure this out. You can certainly advance your understanding, but you will quickly reach a this far, no further. Jot this down. We don't have to know every why when we know the who that knows them all. You say, James, I'm just not sure about this. It's this. It's a protection, it's a protection. Well, let's work on that just for a moment. Secrets protect from what? From what? Well, how about this? If God told you your why questions, maybe your head would explode. <laughs> what about that? Maybe that would happen to you. I did a little study on this because I know you guys appreciate stuff like this. So true or false, true or false, um, the bigger the brain, the smarter the mammal. True or false? You sure? Actually, dolphins have the exact same size brains as humans. There's three of my girls in the, and those dolphins are smart. But they're not smarter than people, but they have the same size brain. Actually, what's interesting is scientists who study this is it's not brain size that measures intelligence, but as it relates to the human beings, it's brain size relative to body size. Interesting. A bird, a bird, their brain is 1 220th of their body. Most mammals, their brain is 1 180th of their body. Human beings, our brains are 1 50th of our bodies. So maybe if God wanted to make our brains big enough to answer all our why questions, it would like throw off the dimensions of the whole universe. Now we've got to move Pluto, now we've got to you know, just the whole thing's messed up. We're just, we're just not going to tell them some stuff. <laughs> I surmise the original planning meeting going. <laughs> now to four more serious answers. Secrets protect from what? How about this? Secrets protect from pride. Maybe if I knew I would be prideful. 1 Corinthians 8.1 says that knowledge puffs up. And you, all, you guys know this, right? And I, 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 it's not you. It's really not you. Turn to your neighbor and say, it's not you. It's not you. I just want to say, I know it's, not, it's nobody here, but you know that there's crazy Christians, right? You guys know it, right? You know there's like crazy Christians. One of the things you can spot a crazy Christian is they're all over this when. When's Jesus coming back? When's Jesus coming back? I know he doesn't know, but I figured it out. <laughs> Come on, somebody say, that's crazy. that's crazy. 
But as crazy as the when Christians are, okay, man, the why Christians are super dangerous too. I know why God gave the world AIDS. Ah! Crazy, go join with the when people. I know why 9-11 happened. And it's worse when they get close to you. So now they're not telling us why world things happen. They're telling us, you know, I know why you have a prodigal child. I know why your business failed. I know why your husband left you. It's crazy, y'all. And it's super hurtful. Damaging, I would say. Destructive. We might be prideful. I've kind of hinted at this already. We might hurt others. Same verse, 1 Corinthians 8, 1 says that knowledge puffs up. Then it says, but love builds up. That's what we need. Then there's, in a sense, asking why. If, if we knew why, we might judge God. What would we do as soon as we found out why? Wouldn't we immediately form an opinion as to whether that was a good enough reason? And then all of a sudden we'd be judging God. But do you know what Romans chapter 9, verse 20 says? Romans chapter 9, verse 20 says that the clay cannot say to the potter, why have you made... Imagine if I was lighting this candle and all of a sudden a voice came out of it and said, why are you lighting me? I'm not... We have a few candles at our house. This came out of a cupboard with candles in it. My wife's more in charge of the candles than me. It won't surprise you. But I mean, how, how weird would it be if the... I'm not particularly interested in the opinion of the candle. I really prefer not to be lit today. Now we're just going to go ahead with it. It's silly Can the clay say to the potter, Romans 9, 20, why have you made me like this? Isn't it a diminishment of God himself? I understand it's a struggle. I understand we want to know. But isn't it possible we'd have to make our heads so big that we'd be so filled with pride that we'd use it and hurt others that we'd judge God himself? And how about this? Maybe it would take me off mission. I'm here for a purpose. Colossians 3.23, I love, says, whatever you find to do, do it with all of your might, whatever your hand finds to do. We're here on a mission for a king and a kingdom. Maybe if I understood the answer to the question why, I'd be off mission. Do you know who Alfred Lloyd Tennyson is? Famous, famous, famous literary great. And... Uh, for a lot of different reasons, but a particular poem he wrote called The um, Charge of the Light Brigade has a line from it that you might recognize, 600 soldiers saying the same as they charge into battle in the face of certain death, these two lines, ours is not to reason why, ours is just to do and die. We have to have that from our soldiers. This is why we so revere and appreciate those who have served in our military, and put themselves in harm's way, and some here have family who have made the ultimate sacrifice. And we call it that because they forsake why and surrender themselves to a purpose should less be expected of the sons and daughters of God through faith in Jesus? Aren't we seeing maybe then that our refrains of why are leaning toward the petulant and the entitled and away from the soldier surrender. 
It helps me so much to think that God's secrets are loving protections. That really helps me. He's helping me by not telling me. Of course. Yeah.